Hey guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! That's me. Boom, 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 boom. Bam, bam, bam. Review stuff. And I am back for another vid. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back for another video. Another review video. Today, we're going to review some root beer. I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm sitting inside today in a little uh, different background, spirit fingers, because it is raining nonstop today. It's been thunderstorming and raining all day today in Indianapolis. So, I thought I would just situate myself in front of the computer, so I got a little a little lighting going on here, so I have to put up the ring light, and um, I've got all my my root beers and things over here. Got my phone, got my bottle opener, got everything ready. So let me tell you a little story, and I've talked about this over here quite a bit because I've reviewed some of these fun sodas. There is this nursery here in Indianapolis, um, like flower plant nursery, that I absolutely love. It's called Sullivan's Nursery, and um, it's been around. I mean, I think probably like twenty or thirty years at this point, maybe longer than that. And um, it started off, like I remember as, like when I was younger, it was a lot smaller and it's just gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. They sell patio furniture. I mean, it's like a family owned small business. It's very cool. And it started off as just like, selling plants and, you know, gardening tools and, you know, dirt to plant stuff with. And then they would have like, you know, annuals and perennials and things like that and bushes. And then it got bigger and they had Christmas trees and they had more Christmas trees. Then they had this little house out back. Now it is so, it's like, it's real close to us too. Now it's massive and they even have like a restaurant inside and they have this train that goes to see Santa Claus at Christmas time. Which apparently, it, you have to get on like a waiting list like two months in advance to even be able to do this to like Santa Claus Christmas train because it is such a big deal. So anyway, I love Sullivan's Nursery so much and they have so many fun things in there. And if you've watched my Peter Does Stuff channel, I've done hauls over there, stuff I've purchased from there. But they have like all kinds of like homewares, they have like hand soap fragrance they have like really cool stuff in there stuff that like you would only know if you found it like on a website online or if they're like in small boutiques it's all that kind of stuff they also have a lot of fun food in there they have like a lot of food from like local places like cheeses and like dips and things like that um and you know different mustards and things all from like local farms and places like that but then up front when you first walk in they have a refrigerator but then they also have, um, what do you call it, This uh, these shelves where they sell all of these glass bottle sodas like this, right? And they have all these different sodas, many of which I've never heard of before. And so I started buying a bunch of them to review on this channel to do fun sodas. Well, I reviewed this cream soda. So the brand is called Sprecher Fire Brood. And this is the cream soda that I reviewed. It's made with honey, okay? I don't know if you guys remember me reviewing it. I compared it to another cream soda, and I said, this is like hands down the best cream soda that I've ever had in my entire life. And there was something kind of smoky tasting about it. I don't know if it's the honey that's in there, um, but it tastes different than a just a regular cream soda. It kind of reminds me of like, I've never had the butter beer, the Harry Potter butter beer, but if I had to guess what it tastes like, this is what I would guess that it tastes like. It is so delicious, you guys. This Sprecher Fire Brewed Cream Soda is hands down the best cream soda that I have ever had in my entire life. Okay, so my cousin Caroline and I, we were running around having Cousin Fun Day the other day, doing errands, and I said, can you stop by Sullivan's on the way home because I want to get some more of this cream soda, okay? So when we were in there, I noticed that they also had, and they didn't have this the time before because I bought every kind of root beer they have. They also have a Sprecher's Fire Brewed Made With Honey root beer. I was like, oh my God. Okay, so then they have these things in there that you can carry your drinks out of. Like, look, this is like a Sprecher. See, you can get like four of them in here. So I got four root beers and I got four cream sodas. And I'm like absolute and complete heaven. So I thought today, I'm not gonna open the cream soda again because I've already tried that in another video. But I thought I would try the Sprecher Fire Brewed uh, Root Beer because I haven't tried this before. And then I also thought that we would compare it to this Cap Capone Family Secret Root Beer. Because I've never heard of Capone's Family Root Beer, which I think would be really, really fun. And on here it has like an old timey car, caffeine free, low sodium, and this is made in Chicago, Illinois. And so I'm real excited about this. So let's try this one first, the Capone. Um, has anybody heard of this before? Capone Family Secret Root Beer. I've never heard of this. Well, actually, so let's do a little uh, thumbnail together. 
Should we do this? Should we put all these up here together? Okay, so let's do a little uh, taste test, shall we? I, now, I love root beer. I love root beer and cream soda. I mean, I got so many favorite sodas. I love Diet Coke, obviously. Now I'm on to the cheer wine. I love that cheer wine, you know, that's from North Carolina or South Carolina. I love that so much. I ordered two case, two 12-pack cases of it on Amazon. Um, I love Dr. Pepper, Mr. Pibb, things like that. I don't like Pepsi. Okay, so let's try this Capone's. It smells like root beer. Of course, why wouldn't it? Cheers. Whenever I'm drinking that, oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. It's kind of a thick root beer. I don't know how to explain it. It kind of feels weighty a little bit. I mean, it's not just like an A&W, which I don't mind an A&W root beer at all. Um, I don't love mug root beer. Like, that's not my favorite root beer. But I do like the A&W. Um, I bought a dog and suds, too, because that reminded me of me going uh, with my dad. We would go to Michigan in the summers, and so we would always stop at dog and suds. But I already opened it. <laughs> it did totally remind me of summer, and I already drank that one. Um, I have a couple more root beers in the, in the refrigerator. I have, like, the Frosties. This is good. This is really good. This might be one of the, the best root beers I've ever had in my entire life. No, like, literally, like, hands down. Boo Radley, you are running around like a crazy person. Y'all hear him in the background? Boo Radley, you want to say hi to everybody? Come here. He said no. I don't want to say hi to nobody. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give this... I don't know what to give it. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Just because I haven't tried the Spreckers yet. I'm either going to love this or I'm going to hate it. My expectations are really, really high because of the cream soda. So let's just hope this one's just as good. Whenever I'm drinking this, like we'll be watching The Real Housewives or something, I'll be drinking like one of these. My husband's always like, Alex is always like, it looks like you're drinking beer. I'm like, listen. Listen, Linda, there's soda that comes in a... Uh, they're soda that, did you guys know what these, that you can also put these back on the lid and then you can like, did you, you can close them down. Now it's way over there. But did you know that you can do that and you can like seal them back up again? I know, right? So anyway, I'm like, listen, Linda, okay? There's soda that comes in a bottle. And I will tell you this. I know this is like, when I say this, people are going to be like, yeah, Peter, didn't you know that? But like, because of like, I went through a long period where I wasn't really into soda, and now I'm kind of, oh, there's Boo Radley. Hi, Boo Radley. People can see you in the background. Um, but I, there is such a difference between canned soda. Well, first of all, canned soda is better than two liters any day, but bottled soda is hands down so much better than canned soda. So if you can buy bottled soda, do yourself a little treat. But my husband always wants to try to get in and say, I'm like, listen, I'm drinking a soda. I'm 28 and a half years sober, okay? Longer than that now. What? Damn. This is good. Oh my God, this was good, but this is even better. Oh, this is a 10, hands down. I wonder what it is that it's made with honey, so that makes it so much better. I don't know what that is. Why would that be even? Like, when I talked about the cream soda, there was like a smoky aspect to it. There's a, almost like it's like fire brewed or something. There's very much a smoky aspect to this too. I think this is my new favorite root beer, hands down. This Capone's is good too. This is lighter. Like I said, this is like heavy. Are these because they're brewed a different way? I mean, these do not taste like A&W root beer. They taste like thicker, smokier. This one, this is, I thought I spilled it. This is so good, you guys. Oh my God, this is incredible. Yeah, this is a 10 out of 10. This is probably the best. Oh my God, I can't believe for years I've never heard of the Sprecher brand. S-P-R-E-C-H-E-R. -E -E Here, I'll show you guys. This is what it looks like. I should probably turn it around, shouldn't I? Leave my thumbnail. Well, you can't see it. This is like the best root beer. I can't believe I've never heard of this before. It's hands down the best root beer I've ever had in my entire life. 
Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.